I just came home from my grandparents and my granddad literally was like, what the heck are you doing, kiddo? <laughs> I can't even explain it. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Thursday in our day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is this version one of my first DIY battery pack. So let's get it. By the way, all the DIY projects right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to get back with a sweet, sweet video. This is just a case, of course. Oh, it's looking so weird with the polarizer on. I still need to acclimate to this new image quality. There it is. A 3S 3P DIY battery pack with, of course, a balancing cable right there. I had this coming a long, long while. This was basically bound to happen. But also this comment from Hector. Thank you so much, as always. I already purchased all these LM78 something. The last two digits are for the voltage. That's what I've learned. I think I bought five five volt modules, four six volts, five nine volts and five 12 volt modules. And the reason for all of that is, of course, mostly the flame fist. By the way, all flame thrower blocks right here, if you want to check the progress. This thing needs way more power than expected. And Hector suggested 3S2P, but I think this is not enough actually. So I went with 3S3P and I will get to the build in a second. Three parallel and three in series gives me 11.1 volts of nominal current. But I will most likely only use this, you know, a bit when it's fully charged. And in this case, the voltage is not 3.7 per cell but 4.2, which is a bit over 12 volts, which makes it perfect for the solenoid valve without any add-on actually, then I will most likely use one or two or maybe even three of these LM78 modules to generate the arcs and then I will use a 9 volt module for the Arduino, right? So that's basically the plan and I will tuck it all away in this box, 3D printed of course, there should be enough room for all the electronics, cooling and stuff like that and I also came up with little spacers, so for storage I can just tuck it all away and insert these spacers. And now it's a nice little box. But enough said, let's get to the actual build. Okay, so here we go. As you can see here, I have nine of these Ultra Fire 18650 batteries. One of them cost me around 90 cents, so that is pretty awesome. And I already printed a, well, I tried printing a case. This would have been a nine hour print, but something just made the print stop. But yeah, whatever. Alrighty, now that I have them freed of their cage, let's actually wrap them yet again. I want to go for a 3P, 3S power pack in this configuration, basically. So I need three times three. Okay, nice and tight. So here we go. Each of these stacks will be wired in parallel. And then these three stacks will be wired in series. And if I just take it like that and wrap it up, that's basically what I need. So one last time, this should make soldering easier if it already has structural integrity just like that very well it also fits inside my box that's perfect so next up is actually soldering i think this shouldn't be too hard just don't heat them up too much okay there it is let's check if it's yeah it's actually holding up very nice let's prepare the wire one long copper wire okay that's looking quite right Let's clip Preparing the wire. Now, oh my God. It was an extra step to prepare the wire perfectly. Oh my freaking soldering iron is so weak. Just cannot deliver the heat. I really didn't expect my soldering iron to be that weak, but check this out. I'm done with the first side. It's definitely not perfect, but it's okay, I guess. I just came home from my grandparents and my granddad literally was like, what the heck are you doing, kiddo? <laughs> I can't even explain it. Obviously, what I did, that's not how it's done. I realized this mistake. Also, he has a way more powerful soldering iron and I was able to get it all done easily. So that's, that's done, basically. Oh, also this. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna bend this wire and like, you know, for a connection and whatever. This is useless. And he was like, are you aware that this is not in any case plus or a, a pole? This is literally you. Anyways, you get the point. I'm stupid. <laughs> but hey, that's it so far. But now I need to figure out how balancing is done. I think I need to connect a four pin balancing cable to the plus pole. Then the first balancing pin to this one. Second balancing pin to this one. And 
minus pole to this. So let's do a bit of research and I will see you in a bit. Well, well, well. So these are my notes regarding balancing plus one, two, three minus, which is basically that. Anyways, that's the sun right there. I did this while I was at my granddad to kind of understand what the hell I did wrong. Then I did that. This was very helpful. And this is also the balancing approach right there. It's basically the same. Anyways, it's like plus the two balance ports and then the minus pole. There are balancing circuits out there, but as of now, I do not understand if they are necessary or not. I will just try it without one, of course, because I don't have one, but I ordered some. So in one month, I, yeah. Okay, so I will see in a bit. So here we go. And what I also wanted to say is that my granddad mentioned, he mentioned like, what about parallel cells? But I reckon if they're parallel, you can treat them as one cell, basically. I hope that's the right assumption. So parallel batteries do not need BMS. I just connected the balancer. Oh yeah, and also I think these BMS circuits, they are more like a safety feature. But in my case, I think I will just charge it and then only use it just a tiny bit, probably not more than 10% and then just charge it up all the way again. So I think I do not need one necessarily. So to recap, plus to the plus pole, then the first balancing pin is this one, red one, which is this one. And the third one is the black cable, is this one right there. Lastly, we have the minus pole, which is right here. I will use this charger. Battery type is, oh my God, what am I doing? Wow, 11.5, 3.8, what can possibly go wrong? So balancer needs to go in there, of course. Okay, and now these two, okay, start. How do you freaking, So here we go, this was quite a joyful build actually. That, that was fun, perfect outcome, great results. I can't complain, but as I said, now I have to wait for new cables for the connectors and for the modules, of course. So yeah, this would probably take around one month, maybe more, maybe less, I don't know. But in any case, I will list you. Here's the next update. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I learned a lot of new things. So yeah, definitely another step in the right direction. Amazing project, can't wait to expand on this one. But yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way. I can now smash together batteries and create my own power. Packs. Bang the bell like crap. Pa. You never miss DIY projects. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.